Um, so I know nothing about this game. I've seen a few screenshots. I've, I've watched one trailer. Um, let's just poke around and find out. So on the right hand here, it's telling me to do some tutorial stuff. Play tutorial, watch training videos, win match versus AI, paint model, join Discord, play online match. Ooh. There's some PvP. Um, let's see what tutorial has to say. Starting game. Okay. And this is made by the same team that developed Subnautica. Which is really cool. Welcome to Moonbreaker. Let's learn how to play. Okay. Oh, this is a cool little battlefield. Oh. This is your captain, Extilior. If you lose him, you lose the match. Interesting. Keep him alive at all costs. Copy that. Left click Extilior to select him, then move him into range of the turret. Finally, use his melee attack to strike the turret. Left click. Move. Oh, nice little UI there. Kind of just tells you when you're in. Um, okay, WASD moves the camera. I can zoom in and out a little bit. So move. Oh, it's also telling me that like the turret can still see him. That's cool. So move him within melee range and then use melee on the target. Cool. That's really cool. Uh, when you're done, use the end turn button. Okay. Great job. Thanks, game. Soft cover. Oh. Hard cover. Has a special ability, Sword of Justice, which can damage multiple units at once. Move Excelsior so that he touches both enemy turrets. Then use Sword of Justice for his first attack and finish the remaining turret off with a standard attack. All right. So move him here, and then we use Sword of Justice, and then a normal melee. Do I have like action points? Or can I just use one of all of these? Well done. Okay, middle mouse button and drag. Crank bait. Cute. Can pull in units to her position. Use her grappling chain ability to pull the turret to her, then destroy it with Excelsior. Melee, bam. Cool. And turn. Crankbait can also pull friendly units. Oh. That's smart. Oh no, I can't get close enough. Womp womp. Learning positions is essential to victory in Moonbreaker. It will take a bit of practice, so don't worry.
mean, that's pretty cool. In turn, I guess. Oh. Aria is a range unit. Range unit's accuracy is affected by their distance, cover, and other units. Try targeting all three turrets to see how to how cover and your own unit's position affect her shot. <clears throat> okay. Use Aria to target different. Target different turrets to see how cover can change. It doesn't like tell me anything though. Use all your units to destroy the enemy turrets. It may take more than one turn. Can I grab this guy? Nope. Move. Here, I suppose? This guy can just kill this dude. And then move here. Okay, and turn there. Oh, it's my turn again? Okay. Um, so if... Heck yeah. In turn. Well done. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, angry jailbreak. I've spawned an enemy captain, angry jailbreak, as well as some support turrets and a new friendly unit for you to experiment with. Use what you've learned about your units and their abilities to defeat the enemy. Don't need to kill all the enemy units, just the captain. Good luck. Okay. Uh-oh. I can move them out of cover a little bit. Can I grapple this guy? Close enough. All of my got. Oh, this is mine. Oh. Oh. That's the, like, Aria character it was telling me to look at. That's why I couldn't figure out. Okay. In turn. We figured it out. Firing some big boy missiles. My god. Angry Jailbreak is moving. Uh, 
All right, let's. Let's move her over there. Grab my pal. Move this guy here. Melee attack. Sword of Justice. What? Ranged attack. Boom. I'm just going to hide that one. Oh no, I should have meleeed. Where are you running off to? Hey, victory. You should now understand the very basics of Moonbreaker, but this is just the beginning. Got your hand in some real matches. That was fun. I like the UI of it. I like the kind of layout. I like that there's a pro mode that turns off all the tool tips. Watch training videos. How do I watch training videos? Uh, oh, fun. Oh, here we go. How to play. Goal of the game. Win the game with a single defeat the enemy captain. The captain is the most powerful unit in play, and each has a unique set of abilities. You start with yours in play. If it gets destroyed, game over. Camera control. Use W or F keys to move the camera or hold the middle mouse button to pan around. Okay. Cinder. It's used to power special abilities and deploy new units. Every turn, you gain one more cinder than the last. Oh, that's cool. Up to three unspent cinder will carry forward to the next turn automatically. You can save for a big turn. Moving units. While special abilities cost cinder, moving is free. Selecting a unit will show where it can move. Moving, attacking, and using abilities can be done by any unit in any order. Interesting. Blocking movement is a critical aspect of the game. Units can lower accuracy, prevent enemies from melee attacking, trap other units. You can see where your opponent's units can move by hovering over them. Huh. Melee and ranged attack. That's like a whole nother level of this. Melee is shown with a yellow icon and range is represented with a blue icon. The damage dealt is the number shown in size. Melee attacks are more likely to hit, but you must be touching an enemy unit. Touching units show a grouping line. But note that when a melee unit is attacked, it fights back if it can. Ranged attacks are less likely to hit, but can be performed at any distance. With the ranged unit selected, hold the right click on a target to see the percentage chance of hitting it. Oh. So it lower your chance of hit, and others block all Each unit has a health value. If this is reduced to zero, the unit is destroyed.
Cool. Oh. That's handy. Cool. Okay, what about painting? I want to paint. Oh. Oh, weird. For some reason I thought it would be like Bill. Oh, dry brushing? Well, not really. Oh, see? That's what I was hoping for. Oh, fun. Interesting. Huh. That seems pretty cool. I mean, maybe collect and paint unknown units. Oh, there's quite a bit of units, rosters, nuts and bolts. These are cool.
so much detail on these guys. I don't know if I can paint. I don't want to like ruin these nice paint jobs. What does this do? Oh! Paint. A new paint scheme. Okay. Um, I guess we can start with like the coat or something. Do like a brownish color. I like that they've kind of set this up to be like a, a zen like experience. Oh, it automatically painted the underside too. That's cool. Oh, too close. Um, what about the boots? Do something a little darker. Oh, okay. Camera controls are going to need a minute. What if we dry brush with a little bit brighter? What is that? Down is left bracket. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Maybe I should make it a little bit bigger. I like that they have different techniques and stuff. Keep painting, a little bit of edging. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, I should paint the hair something neat like a a blue it's gonna be my signature my signature moonbreaker tribe is just blue hair come on get the little tips there I, I really like that they tried to make this like a zen experience. Um, 
And we should probably do like a little bit lighter on a dry brush. And just layer it in a little bit. I missed a spot here. Was that a different blue? God damn it. Um, brighter, dry brush. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, do like a dark skin color. Maybe a little bit lighter than that. That looks weird. That's kind of cool. Oh, that one's way better. Then I can do like light bits. That's pretty neat. I don't know if I love this armor or this leather jacket color. I guess I can kind of airbrush it so it's a little bit more dirty. See if I like that at all. I don't hate that. Definitely got to get the inside of it because the inside's going to be way darker. Should do like a metallic. Metallic color for the actual armor. I need paint. Oh, is that like the color it already is? Nope. Hmm. if we did like this kind of feel I don't mind that we probably want to go like brown on the boots though Fresh soil. That looks kind of cool. I don't really know this. I feel like you could just spend hours doing this. Um... Is 
Is it too brown? Oh god, is it too brown? Oh, that's a way better brown. And then if you like dry brush it with the lighter red stuff. Oh yeah, that look that works way better. Stonework. So I've got it locked to particular pieces, so I can't overpaint. It won't smudge. You can have it set. Um, you can set it so that you can overpaint, which I find aggressive. But I'm sure people might like the practice or something. I don't know. Um airbrush some dirt just make that a little bit darker okay and then we go back to back to our armor pieces we went with soot did we no we did ash and okay which is almost the exact same color that the model is, so it's a little confusing, but. A little confusing. Right now, we're working on this model. We just learned how to paint. Um, yeah, it's interesting. The, I apologize so much for the camera controls. It is a lot more difficult than you might imagine. Uh, actually, their belt should probably be like dark, dark belt. And then we do some Oh, the scroll is very aggressive. Oh, that's like the same piece as that. Okay. So I guess I don't need to be small with it. I could just do the whole kit and caboodle. Is that going to be too weird with the jacket? Maybe I should do the jacket like a different, cooler color. I think the shirt should be brown. Because that's a nice... Match with the boots a little bit. And we'll clean it up. We'll, uh... Definitely make sure we get in there. Um, stonework airbrush. Airbrush it a little bit. So it's a little dirtier. A lot, a lot less like molten chocolate. Um, we do like a smaller bits to make it a little bit darker. This is kind of cool. I'm sure that there's going to be people that just obsess over this. I can see it now. Um, we should do something like gold adjacent. I love this little mixing palette. It's so good. Oh no, this paint.
That is way too gold, but we could do some. Can hold it up a bit. I think this is super cool. It's a little goofy. I save in progress? Yeah. Okay. I want to play some more. Um... This is the default one. I absolutely butchered it. Look at the gold. The detailing on the, on the gold armor pieces. The devs must have spent so much time, like... Putting all those things together. Fury. Oh, that's cool. Are these all different captains or different just units? This one was really useful in that fight. Oh, we got some little monsters. Look at this guy. Look at him. Weird. These are cool. Um, okay, and you can make a roster captain. Oh, I only have the one captain. Okay, well, let's keep. Let's keep playing, and hopefully we can unlock new captains. This is all the stuff I don't own yet. Broken Vengeance. Look at that little teddy bear. These are really well made. All right, let's. Oh, paint model. Win a match versus AI. Watch training videos. I did watch the training videos. Oh, wait, no. I don't want to do this again. I don't want to do the tutorial again. I want to watch. Where did I find that? Oh, here. Oh, it's because I didn't click the one button. Win a match versus AI. Okay. So we've got Extilior, Maximus, Furia, Crankbait. We basically got the, the whole shebang. What does this do? Oh, cool. Get, get like a nice little layout of all your pieces. What does this do? Oh. You just have different auras for when they enter. That's really cool. That's really cool. I mean, let's just play one. See how it goes. There's no like timer or anything. Okay, keep the big chungus alive. Oh. Choose assists. Give ally and vulnerability. Stun unit. Move units to this area. Restore five health. Orbital strike. Randomly deploy the most expensive unit for free. It takes two damage. I think I like this one. Okay, my turn. Bad guys over there. Can I deploy? Bridge. Bridge. 
Nope, I need three. Shield of Hope. Reduce next damage to unit by one. Interesting. Okay. I guess we'll just move and end turn. We got to bank our one little cinder. My turn now. Okay. We have three cinder. So smugglers, rogues, grappling chain, when snarling hits, immobilize target for a turn. Oh, that's fun. Let's deploy snarling. It can't do anything this turn. But hopefully we can tempt the villain here to not go after my snarling. Don't do it! No! Attack back! Oh my god, okay. Rough. Oh, it's range too? Oh my god. Okay, ranged. Get him. Immobilized. Huzzah. Move him here. We'll do melee. Boom. He hits back. Okay. Um. Should we do Shield of Hope? What am I waiting for? I need four for Jailbreak. Uh, okay, next turn. Let's do Shield of Hope. And then pass turn. They've got four embers. They're gonna... Yeah. Ranged attacker. Hmm. Um, okay, I really want to immobilize this guy, so let's... What? I missed. Okay. Um, what if we move... Oh, there's no good places to move. I guess we can just go back here. And then... This dude can... Oh, wait. Move here. Melee. And then we deploy... Here? And... Oh, maybe I could kill it? Yes! Okay. Um... Guess we can end there, right? Don't do it! Hit him back! Okay. We had a little fight. We'll melee here. And then we'll melee here. And we'll... Sword of Justice... We'll deploy here. Trap them right in there. Miss. Damn it, snarling. Um. Units health must have five or less. Oh. Restore five health to an ally with five or less health. Oh. I mean, we're getting there. So let's end turn. See what they do. Probably deploy. 
Disruptor beam. Don't you dare kill my grappler. Okay, they're deploying a bombarder. Decrease movement range. Oh, okay. They don't have melee or ranged attacks. So we definitely need to move her this way. And then we can grapple chain the commander over so that uh, oh no, I don't want to do this. Okay. Move this guy here. They can shoot them. Missed again? He can then attack, take a hit. Shield of Hope, and we'll move one over so that I can Sword of Justice only him. Then we'll give a lifeline. Um, actually, you know what? I could do this. And, and now this guy can melee. And he can't attack back. So we're good. Touching rivals are immobilized. Oh, cool. Okay. We'll give it up. He did a spin move and killed my grappler. No. Uh-oh. Oh my god, that was so close. Okay. I'm gonna let Snarling have a shot to redeem themselves. Hey! Victory! You love to see it. Oh, that music though? Oh, you've got a cool Seasons Pass too? That's really awesome. Um, oh, and your things level up? That's really cool, too. Okay. Super awesome. Claim that. What are all these things? Blanks. Earned through play. How do I buy things? Oh, these guys are free? Look how cool this guy looks. This one's free. Oh my god, look at that. Um, consumable cargo run contract. I have no clue what that is. Boosters. Open boosters. Wait, do I have boosters? Oh, I have nine? What do you get? Duplicate unit. You get 10 merits. Reg Sentinel and a Beatrice Enforcer. Cool. Okay. Um, let's open another one. Get those dopamine hits. Got Florio Lancer. Another crankbait. And a bulwark. So you can have like a whole team of turrets, basically. And captains. Okay. Pulsars. I have no clue what that means. What is this cargo run? Received in the store every day. Seasons pass. Cool. Roster banner. Decal packs. Oh, right. You could put decals on your 
Butcher's Crest, Roster Crest. Oh, you can unlock new paint schemes too? That's really awesome. New paints. New entries. Dead Eye Paint Scheme. Roster Banner. That's really cool. That's a lot of fun stuff in here. Get some blanks. Vengeance doll profile. These are really, really cool. Oh, what? Shrapnel? That character looks rad. What is the... The final version is Deathbot Exterior. Oh, you can get skins for your captains, too. That's really neat. Lots of cool unlockables. Um... Okay, let's make a new roster. Oh, these are cool. Okay, shape. Let's do this one. It's a little piratey pattern. I like this one. It's got like orbital planets. And the main color can be something a little bluish. A little gun metal -y. I don't hate that. Um, okay, let's pick a captain. I really like this. This guy looks so cool. Zax Jatar, Smuggler's Rogue. Sleeper Mine. Create a sleeper mine. It takes one turn to arm. Move units in the area with a gravity disc. Oh, they've got lore? Stats? Oh. They don't have stats. Okay. That's what he looks like when he dies. That's how he enters. Okay. Then there's this new one. Astra. Methidori. Well, let's do this guy because he's cool. So we do like rogues and pirates. Smugglers. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. This little Toxoid guy. Snarling. Didn't do great last turn. But. I think it's okay. Oh. Method Methodori is the. Is the humans. Now does it matter if you put. Everything you own. Like, do you have to fill up this whole roster? Captain, crew. It kind of looks like you do. Which means I don't have very many other options. He's a fiver? How about we get another two? We have a two, a two, a three, a three, four, three. I love the smugglers. I want I want more smugglers for sure. New roster. S smugglers. <laughs> not not a very clever name. Okay, fun. Let's do another AI battle. This game's really cool.
if they like just continuously make new characters oh we got a new map and of course we're facing another um plink restore one health to an ally or deal one damage to a rival restore five health stun unit ion storm okay i really the lifeline actually saved me last time um so i think i'm gonna take that again opponent goes first what rigged rigged they moved nowhere and deployed a antheos okay so <clears throat> so i'm not sure where this guy wants to be obviously ranged is probably best so if we move and then we can Oh, we didn't get any cheap guys. We didn't get any cheap ones. Deploy a sleeper mine, I guess. Play a little defensively. Oh, you're just going to shoot my sleeper mine? Bruh. Guys, melee. Okay. So, we need three to deploy a second guy. So, how about... I want to poke out and shoot the Antheos dude before he gets too close. Um, okay, I'm not going to sleeper mine because I will get, I will get to roll over these two, two points. Um, so let's just enter in there and hope for the best. Hopefully their captain goes for the sleeper mine again. Okay, good. Medical recall. What? What? Okay, that was exceptionally rude. Um, okay, and then I think I'm going to move my guy back over here hmm I wish I could oh you can turn the camera just a little bit though uh, okay what do they have they have melee and ranged. So they have one ranged guy. I gotta pass the turn. There's nothing else I could do. Reinforced again? What? Why? Oh. My turn. Okay. So I have six to work with. Um, you can only deploy. You can only deploy so close to your captain. So I'm going to deploy my grappler here move 
my big dingus here. And then sleeper mine. That at least gives them like something to target for a turn. Oh, they're deploying right away. A wisp. No attack at the end of at turn and restore one health to your captain for each unspent cinder. Oh no, that guy's gotta die. Okay, move. Wait, can I grapple from here? No. Move here, grapple. Oh, I just tripped my own mine. Okay, and then we will... Okay, no gravity disc. The mine was a huge mistake. Um... We could deploy, so we have five fender. Okay, if we deploy this turn, we can reinforce next turn. What are they doing? Medical recall? No! I wanted to kill that thing so badly. Okay, that's rough. Um, let's move this guy here. Melee. And then... What if we move here and then grapple hook this guy? And then this guy can move here and melee. They can melee. And then I can range. Miss! No! Um, sleeper mine? Reinforce. And then move back out of view. What did I get? I got another... I got a snarling. Okay. Um, can I do anything else? I don't think I can. This has a three turn cooldown. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then end turn. They can shoot two things that aren't like in the same area. That's so rude. Oh no. Oh, no. 
Why, why didn't he set off the mine? Okay, let's ping this guy. Hello, what? Oh, I'm stuck. Move there. Move there. And we'll melee. And melee. Hell yeah, one down. This guy can melee. And move. Um, I can move here and then range attack this. Oh, of course I miss. Um, okay, I think that's it, right? Oh, I can deploy. Phrase okay. Um, let's put Aria there. This still has a cooldown. Okay, I think my my Tipu's gonna get hit or gonna die. R.I.P. Okay, my turn. I'm gonna grapple their captain. And we're just gonna just lay into him. Uh, Z here. And then if we deploy, oh no, I need my captain to move. So that I can deploy closer. Hello? So I can trap him in there. Wait, why is... Oh, my hand's further down on my computer than I thought. Minus 26% to hit. Okay. Can't see, can't see. I mean, I guess we try it. Oh, we got him. Um, okay. We can reinforce. We have nothing on the bridge. We got Maximus. Who we can deploy next turn. Okay, I really don't like the... Edge of camera. Edge scroll. There we go. And turn. Okay, shot my dude, that's rude. Putting a mine down, sure. Shooting my toxoid, also rude. 
Are they going to move these guys or no? Oh, that was cool. Medical assist. All right, pulling him back. Cinder infusion. What does that do? My turn. Okay. If I sleeper mine here and then gravity disc here. Wait, why didn't this explode? I don't know why I can't get that damn thing to explode. Should move. Here. Ranged attack there. Then we can deploy Maximus. Oh, God. We're getting so gummed up over here. I guess I just deploy him there. Um, ranged. Melee. They can move. Oh, wait. Okay. If I move... And then move her back here. And then I can grapple their captain. I'm like fully stuck here? Oh no. That's bad. Oh, this guy can leap, so he's a little bit easier to move around. Um, I'm going to move him over here. Oh, that's my cat, did not. Okay. Um, now I can move this guy. Here, ranged attack there. It might be silly to just like focus everything on the captain, but again, it's like the only thing that only thing that matters is the captain dying. So, um, let's ping this so that they can't. Explode me again. Their captain's like trapped. We have nothing in the bridge. We can't reinforce. Okay. Their turn. Well, that's not good. Three damage to everything. Wait, why does he have new places he can move now? Oh. That was just new places he could throw his mine. Okay, Tari is moving. Tari is going to shoot my bro. Oh. Absolutely murdered. Now, now the captain can escape. That's not good. My turn. Oh. Now it's my turn. Oh no. What? 
Okay. Um, we should move her back here, grapple the captain back. Um, okay, what can I gravity disc? Just these two? Oh, like I got it too. Okay, then I move here and ranged attack there. Yes, victory. That was rough. I think I lost like three units in that fight. Twenty XP for the victory. Wow, it actually takes quite a bit to level up the uh, battle pass, huh? That was fun. Uh, let's open some more boosters. I don't know where we got these. Maybe you just get a bunch when you start an account. Any more smugglers? Oh. That's a cool guy. It's like a shaman. I think there's going to be a lot of duplicates because there's only so many units in the game so far. Oh. We got an uncommon. That's cool. If I want a specific unit, can I just buy a specific unit? No. Unowned units. Rickety backfire. Look at that. Jolly dude in his little contraption. Merits used to hire unknown units and upgrade unit rarity. Oh. Peacemaker Balim. That's cool. Seems like a another like faction that I haven't unlocked yet. Those are like the techies. <laughs> More plant things. That's cool. Look at that paint job on that. So I don't think I can buy just like a unit from the store. I can hire them. Is that buying them though? I have 50 merits. Well, I guess we can just like open the rest of our boosters and see. Oh, we got the Chuck and Co. And the big... Oh, Rarity Upgrade. Okay. So you can open upgrades as well. We got five more boosties. Ooh, all new ones. Look at this little thicket. This little fungus monster. Broken Vengeance. Oh, it's the guy with the teddy bear. Nice. Nice. Um, 
Okay, we got a weird mechanical plant thing and a small child riding a rocket. Oh, that's not a child. It's just a very angry person. Oh, look at that cool thing. Kitoshi, what is Moonbreak? So Moonbreaker is this cool, like, it's almost a tabletop simulator. They've designed this game where you get to paint and collect, like, tabletop minis. Um, and they all have different abilities, and you play it out. I'll play a match in just one sec. Um... And you basically play a tabletop game with them, and you can, like, paint. Um, hold on, let me show you. I was painting an Arius. New scheme. Oh, yeah, there we go. So I started painting. You can, like, mix paints down here. Um, you can get really detailed. It's got different, like, uh, techniques you can put on stuff. Pretty, pretty cool, actually. And they've got this, like, zen mode um, where you can, like, turn off all the UI and just get really, really into your painting. It's got a little bit of a smoother jazz music playing in the painting menu. Uh, it's really cool. And then, yeah, you collect them all. You build little squads. Um I'm just going to open the rest of my booster pack so we can see what we have total. Um, and it's a new game in early access from the developers behind Subnautica, which is really awesome. Oh, Antheos Gauntlet. Cool, cool. Yeah. I think it could be a really fun thing to play. Oh. Uh, Oh, we got a rarity upgrade. That's nice. Cool. Um, so yeah, you build these little squads. I will show you my current roster in the making. Um, I like the aliens and I like the smugglers. And we got some new ones, so let's go ahead and add those to our party. I don't know if the order at which I put them in here does anything. Um... Smugglers, Methodori. This guy's really cool. Look at this big old ship. Uh, okay, definitely put a switch back in there. And I feel like I... I want to put this guy in instead of that one. I'm not a big fan of the Pantheon dude. Um, so maybe we can find something else. The Cholek. These are really neat. Season of the Hunt. Choose a unit. If friendly, its next attack will hit. If enemy, its next attack will miss. That's a cool ability. 
And then you've got some stun all crew in area for a turn. Interesting. Drum dancer. Give melee unit pummel for the turn. What is pummel means when a melee unit attacks, it fights twice. Oh. That could be really cool, actually. Oh, and they're only a one, one drop. I don't know if the order at which I place them on this grid thing matters. No clue. Let's play a game. What is this? Spend a contract to battle five randomized bosses of increasing difficulty, earn more season track experience and blanks the farther you get. Oh. Oh, but I have to take this crew. Let's just do a normal game first, and then we can check out the cargo run. Yeah, it's really cool so far. Um, the AI of it is really well put together. Oh, a new map again? Nice. So, only the captains matter. You lose if your captain dies. Um, you win if their captain dies. Medical recall. Return allied crew to the bridge. Restore three health. Orbital strike. Uh, stim burst. Allies in the area move 50% farther. When damage is dealt to units in this area of this turn, add one to it. I think I like the medical... Opponent goes first, okay. Where is he going? Dropped an Antheos. I drew a two, a three, a four, and a three. So I can't do anything this first turn. I mean, I can sleep her mind, but, um, okay, let's move over here and we'll sleep her mine. Up there. And pass. So you also get this, like, hearthstone type, um, energy where every round you get more cinder and then cinder is used to do special abilities or call in other units this guy's had two cheap units on his bridge he's outplaying me forty nine percent why because he's far what okay i guess we're moving Um, actually, before I do that, let's look to see who I can call out. Yeah, let's call out Detonia. And they will go here. And then I will end turn. They're going to move up so that they can shoot. Down a mine, and then gravity. Okay, and then shoot my Depotonia, yeah. and then they're gonna blink it for one. Insanely rude. Okay. Move. Here, lob explosive there. And he can ranged. That's not a, that is not a very good uh, 
shot. Oh, and I used the cinders to throw the grenade. Oh, I'm going to lose this, aren't I? Um, no, I'm going to medical recall. I'm going to move a little bit farther behind cover. And then if I save this one ember, I can jailbreak next turn. Although I really like crankbait. So yeah, let's sleeper mine. Sleeper mine, then we can crankbait. Because then we can pull their captain around. In turn. They're moving over here. This is hardcover, right? Okay. This guy's plinking my bomb to shoot it. Okay. And he missed. They're going to shoot it. And they got it. Okay. At the very least, the spending the one cinder to have a distraction is pretty good. Um... Uh, I could just aerial strike. Four turn cooldown. And then I can... Deploy... Jailbreak there and end turn. This guy's melee, so he's got a long ways to go. <clears throat> uh oh. We're plinking. Oh, he moved quite a bit. And then he dropped a Chuck and Co. Okay. And he's moving nowhere. So my guy's going to move here. And he's going to murder this dude. And then he's going to sleeper mine here. Move. Here, what do I have? I have four, like a gravity disc. And call down. Deponia. Right next to me. All right. They're going to move. Oh. Oh, no. Brutal. No. I was going to recall him next turn. Cinder infusion. Gain one health. Okay. They're going to attack there. He's going to move there. Whoa, okay. I didn't know they could hit from that far out. And we're still moving. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I have six, so I should deploy both... Um, okay, first I'm going to move away. All right, there's that new guy there. Can I gravity orb? 
No. Okay, we're gonna. How much do those guys cost? Three each. Okay, so I'm gonna sleeper mine here. I'm gonna move. Over here, and then I'm going to drop Oh man, both of these guys are weak. Um this is tough. Okay. I'm just going to drop uh, my crankbait there and end the turn. Oh, okay. They're going to mine and then plunk. Plink. Oh, and they're moving over there? Okay. I'm going to have to medical recall both of my guys. Oh, man. And they have enough to deploy another thing? Brutal. Okay. Burning from Axel Pro. What does that mean? It takes one damage for the next two turns? My god. Um. Okay, how far can my captain move? Not very. Um, I feel like I should grenade. And then move. Okay, I have five cinders left. They have five people on the battlefield right now. I think I'm medical. Wait, no. Move here, chain grapple. Oh no, okay. Um, reinforce. We got Furia. That's a five drop. So next turn we'll be able to do that. I think I put that there. And then recall <clears throat> my grenader. Uh, 
That's two. Next turn, I'm going to have... Okay, if I survive... Okay, that exploded. Good. Putting a bomb there. Tank moved. Oh, they're going to kill. No. No. Miss. No. I was going to save myself with that unit. <clears throat> now they're plinking that. Okay. Now he's going to bash my... Oh. Okay. Interesting. So now they have... Oh, okay. They haven't locked me in. So first thing I'm going to do is move as far away as possible. Okay, wait. I have seven. It's two. I can do Furia and Gravity Disc. And then I can a orbital strike. And then Furia. Wait, what does Furia do? Ranged power. Furia didn't attack in a turn, take one damage and gain plus three attack. I don't know where to best. I guess if I put her here, it blocks the big dude. Oh, a crit. No. Wow. Okay, this is brutal. Okay, that didn't do anything. Okay. Uh. I need to get out of here, but my guy is very slow. I need to drop. Um, wait, was it ranged? Melee, okay. And then, oh, what? I thought I had five left. Oh, don't tell me he cost three. Oh, no. Okay. I'm, I'm doing rough, folks. Okay. That unit is destroyed already. Take five? Holy shit. Okay. Oh boy.
Okay, I need to reinforce. And I got snarling. Um, shit. Oh my god, of course I miss. Um... Okay, I don't have any heals. I don't have any companions that heal. Send out a random compliment. And then pass. The turn, that's not good. That's not good either. Oh, we lost. Okay, that's our first defeat. We've been doing pretty well so far. We get no, oh God, it's such a slow crawl on this experience bars. Like, you have to play, like, hundreds of games to get anywhere with that. Um, do I just need some cheaper... I have one... I only have one one-drop. Wait, why can't I edit? Oh, because I'm not in the... My bad. Um, no, don't autofill. Sort alphabet cinder cost. Oh, nice. Okay. So we have two other options for one drops. Some more melee guys. Or another range guy. Inner energy, gain three, attack, and first strike this turn. That's a pretty good ability. I do like the being able to move twice, though. So I have, like, almost a full squad of smugglers. Almost a full squad. Um... Okay, let's play one more, and then we'll maybe try the cargo run. Okay, same map. Please, some one drops. No. No. I got like the most expensive people. Um, okay, this is stuff like a free. Let's 
Cinder and randomly deploy the most expensive unit for free. It takes two damage. Um, okay. Oh, I probably shouldn't use my abilities right away. Um, okay, do I have two drops? No. I have two threes and a five. But if I save... If I save my abilities, I will get more. I banked those two, so now I'll get two extra next turn. Really, you're going to plink me? Oh, I could even get seven total. Hmm. No, I think if we Furia here. And then Oh, does it take it from my bridge? Oh, okay. And then move here. Am I going to use the two cinder? No, we'll save it. We'll save it. Wait, why did they take one damage? If it didn't attack, take one damage, gain plus three attack for next turn. Okay. Move here. Ranged. There. Miss. Oh, she's too far away for, for that, really? Um, okay, and I'm going to move him back here a bit. And then I'm going to bridge and then grab two more cinder. And deploy my snarling and then end turn. Oh, they can just reach. That's not good. Okay, they put a mine down. They're going to plink, and then they're going to attack. Oh, no. No. Okay, move her there. Oh, my God. I did it again. I was not cautious of the... Oh, and nude waiters. Okay, we missed. That's good. They're going to plink my Maximus and drop a Floria Lancer. Okay. 
Okay, let's reinforce. How much does that, that guy cost? Five? And then we grapple chain the commander. And then we can move ranged. Move. Range there. What? Move here, range there. Move here. And then say go. I, I think. Oh, I clumped up. That was so dumb. You're going to plink my bug. And then drop a... Detonia. That's not good. Um, okay, I'm going to deploy... here I'm going to move here and grapple and melee I'm going to ranged attack there. Gravity disc. And then move. And then I'm going to ranged attack there. God damn it. I'm going to move him far away. I'm going to move ranged and then move again um I would really like to reinforce this turn, so I'm going to Cinder Infusion, reinforce, we get a Drummer, so they have a Hummel ability, which um, let's a melee unit attack twice. And we just dropped, um, we have crankmate. Oh, actually crankmate and the drummer are our only two melee units. So hopefully that goes well. I feel like we were just, oh no, that's so... How far does that thing go? Oh God. Whoa.
Okay, that. Let's reinforce. We got jailbreak. Has eight health. This does what? Takes two damage, so it would come in with six. I think I just protect my... Do my best to protect my captain for now. Actually, you know what? No. Let's do it. Take two damage. Got nothing else to do this turn. Okay. They're throwing a grenade. Hacking. They're bombarding, and then they're going to come over and try to finish it off. Oh, no. No, don't. How come their plinks never miss? My plink missed. My turn. Okay. Um, I guess let's just see if we can finish it off. 62%. No, thanks. Hey. That was real good. I feel like I just need to be squirrelier, like move around a lot more. I've got all these ranged champions, and I really got screwed that one game that I lost because all of my guys were clumping together. Um, these are one booster for a hundred blanks. I mean, I guess we should see what this cargo runs all about, right? I'm really enjoying this so far. I think I would love it more if there was like quite a lot more champions like units to pick. Um, oh, I got infusion and recall. Yeah. What? Unit permanently gains plus 50% chance to crit. Oh. Okay, this guy's also melee. So I'm going to move here. And then do nothing? What do I have? I have two fives and a four. Okay. So I really need to save my cinder. They're going to come up and fight. They're going to plink me. Super rude. My turn. So I have three. So I need to wait one more turn. What is this? Permanently gains armor. Uh, and turn. Link, got it. Oh, 
And they had a special ability. So I'm going to move... here and I'm going to melee your ass they fight back got it then I'm going to furia behind you I have two fives okay so if I if I bank one, I'll have five next turn. But if I cinder now, I can reinforce and then chuck and co next turn. Okay. And we'll reinforce. We get a Detonia. End turn. They're going to take one. Stim burst. My turn. Okay. So first we're going to ranged attack here. And then we're going to melee attack here. And then we're going to um, Detonia and I think I might have died already. Non-captain unit in your roster. Oh boy. I think I'm toast. I think my first... Co oh. No, he went for a different... Holy shit. Oh, no. Oh, they're just going to plink me this turn, though. Oh, okay, I can reduce it. And then I just have to hope that they kill the Chuck and Co. They're going to heal their guy for one. I'm going to Florio here. Detonia here. I'm going to grab this. Then I'm going to Cinder for one health. And then Reinforce Maximus. End turn. <laughs> They're 
They're gonna move my range, my range guy right up front and then miss. And they're gonna plink. Move. And it, okay. Oh no. What is this? Add Quasali to your roster. Can any of these guys grab this? Oh. Hey. Victory. Ten blanks. That wasn't easy. Okay, we got a bunch of expensive... Oh, we got a one drop. That's good. Um... Hmm. So I get a free reinforce every two turns. Sure, why not? I haven't tried either of these. We've got gain bag of bullets or add Tona Mystic Mantio to your roster. So I'm going to go for this. I'm going to deploy. Where, where are they? They're over there. And they're ranged. Okay. Oh my God. I start with three health. Oh no. That is a bummer. Oh, they missed. Thank God. Okay. We're going to move. Ranged. And then move again. Grab this. Have no clue what this unit's attack increased by one. Okay. We're going to... Gonna move our guy behind the cover again. We are going to get a free reinforce. Quasali. A five drop. Oh no. Okay. Um Shield of Hope. We don't know. Oh, we don't get to see what uh, power-ups they have. Okay, is he locked in now? He is locked in. Um, deploy jailbreak. I 
They can move really far, though. So if I push... Push them back... I still need to find a way to do 20 damage to them. Alright. Oh no. They're gonna deploy their own jailbreak. Okay. We're gonna move here and melee. Um, so now they're immobilized. What are these two? Stimulating formula. We're going to... Oh no, we were supposed to move first. Damn it. Free reinforce. Detonia. I mean, at least it's somebody we can afford. Uh, Shield of Hope, because that's all we have right now. Just hope. Oh my god, okay. They're going to reinforce. Oh, I'm so boned. What is that? Impact munitions. And we're going to move. This guy's got to move. Um. Okay, actually, if I do this first... Hey, what's going on? The content loud? How are you? I'm just trying out this Moonbreaker game for the first time. Um, and I'm, I'm trying this, I guess, like roguelike um, mode. So I started this matchup with one health on my commander. And I'm pretty much boned no matter what. That's all I can do. Can't wait to get this game. I can't afford it for a bit, so I just have to watch streams. Yeah, I mean, it's also like early access, so don't stress. Um, I just need to survive one more. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, it's early access, so there's going to be, like, tons of new stuff coming eventually. 
I'm assuming they're going to add a ton more units. Move. Okay, no, that's not working. Um, okay, move here. Ranged. And then move. Here. I don't even remember what that box was. Stimulating formula. Hopefully they can make it free to play because I don't see people stuck around yeah i think you you want to encourage that investment though which can be tough um This guy's going to restore one health to my captain for each unspent cinder. So that's six. So if I can just survive this, now I've got 11 health. Oh no, my healer died. I'm too far for that. They're going to move there. Have they trapped me in? Okay, what just dropped? Add Taria. Get impact munitions. Oh, I forgot to move first again. Knockback from impact munitions pushes unit target back. Okay, and this guy can't move anywhere. So I'm going to do this. Um... And then I'm going to run away. Oh, I can't run all the way away. That's melee and that's melee. So I can run most of the way away and then I will deploy. Both of these guys are turrets. Okay. Hell yeah. Um, no available reinforcements. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a big hit. Oh, oh they missed. Okay. They're going to deploy right next to me. And far. Oh, I hate that guy. The shotgun is brutal. They're moving up. Okay. Ion storm. What does that do? Unit in areas lose 40% accuracy. Okay. Move. What does the bombard look like? Oh. Um, let's do that. Then we can move a little bit. Oh, 
What does their special do? Give ranged unit rapid fire. Oh, okay. Seven health, five health. Zero percent chance. Okay, they, whenever an ally in range has depleted movement, refresh it. Five remaining this turn? Okay. And I can move again. And this guy can move. This guy can move. This guy can move again. They can move here, get refreshed. No? Zero remaining this turn. Oh. Let's do nothing. We have nothing more to deploy, nothing more to reinforce. Uh, I can't hit anything from here. This is probably going to die next turn, unfortunately. So I guess we Shield of Hope. And then end turn and hope we survive. Oh, okay, that was brutal. The commander's gonna jump over. Oh. No. My dude. No healing. Okay, this guy's going to bombard. This guy's going to move. I can move my commander here. Oh my god, we won. I can't believe we beat that. We started this map with uh, with two health, I think. One or two health. I didn't know that your health depletion rolled over. Um, this is definitely the best way to earn seasonal rewards. We did a little bit of painting, but I'm pretty bad at taking what I visualize and putting it into the thing. Um, but the season rewards are moving along pretty quickly, doing the cargo runs. I wonder if you can replay them once you've finished. Um, yeah, let's do one more. Do one more. 
this isn't the main matches. So this isn't exactly how everything goes in game. Okay, we got expensive guys again. Great. Orbital strike and stim burst. I like that. Uh, we've got add axle pyro. Permanently gain poison. This guy has 25 health. And he immobilizes for two turns. Allies in range are fast while any rival is immobilized. That's brutal. Um, so I guess we just move. I think we definitely want to get the axle. And their range too. That's rough. Okay, no hits. We got add Tona, add Deadeye. Okay, so if I... Deploy there, and I can move here. Um, everyone's fresh, so I can't do anything. Let's do it. Immobile for two turns. Okay. Um, I have fives, so I should shoot. This guy only moves. Um, I'm going to pick up this other guy. The next turn I will have... Oh, I wish I could move. I wish I could move. Corrosive particles, what the F? When taking damage, increase it by one. Okay, that was a rough turn. Unit permanently gains pummel. This guy's still immobile. And I can't hit anybody. Uh, but I can do this. And deploy Florio. Hello? Oh, damn. Thank you for the raid. Uh, strange that my alert didn't come off. What is up? Playing MB while wearing a magic shirt. That's good enough for the raid. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um... My alert didn't go off. I apologize. I'm trying to figure out how to survive. Um, all good. I appreciate it. I'm going to move over here. Hope the games are going well. They're actually going really well. This is my first time playing 
uh, Moonbreaker, and I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, God. I got to end turn, don't I? No. Miss. Yes. Okay, kill the immobile guy. That's fine. My turn. What is this? Unit gains three attack. Okay, I can hit both of these. What do I have in my bridge? It's the movement buff guy. Okay, well, Stim Burst. Again, I appreciate it. What were you guys playing? Um, I appreciate the raid. I'm going to come back here. I don't even remember what this box was. Moonbreaker. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, I'm not... Uh, I'm getting into the painting in real life. Warhammer. Um, minis and... It's something I'm just not great at. It's, I find it difficult to realize what I see in my head um, onto the actual figure. So I'm having fun. I'm playing with uh, playing with particular like styles. Just comes with time. Yeah, exactly. I'm a, I'm a words person. I'm far less of a painter or visual artiste. I don't understand why this guy is not popping this box. He's next to it. Um, I have three things. I can't do anything. Okay. Okay, here we go. Two misses. Nice. My commander's officially at full health. And they're throwing out an Aria way over there. Detonia is going to do nothing. Ho oh, ho, okay. Gain two attack, permanently get poison. Okay, I'm loving that. I'm loving that my dude is at full health now. That's great. Uh, I'm going to move here. 28% chance, huh? Okay. Perhaps I should try to block. Try to body block a bit. Can bombard again. I mean, I guess we just try, right? Worst case scenario we miss. Um, they don't have anybody with bombs. Oh. They do. <laughs> so I should... Shield of Hope. My Lancer, gentlemen? Everything else is good. I can't deploy anything. Now just wait. Now I just wait. Okay, I love this guy, but... Uh, I ain't mad if that's the one you attack. 
No, 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 don't, don't, don't. Oh, okay. Whew. That was close. This game will probably make you better IRL painting. I was actually thinking that. It's very zen. Oh, man. Okay, my turn. Let's body block. Let's bombard. Oh, maybe I should have just killed the... Damn it. Unit cannot attack. Oh, right. Um, okay. Well, dang, I have no nothing in reserve. One more turn until my orbital strike is up. Wait, was that my movement guy that just died so quickly? That sucks. Okay. Gonna. Okay. They're dropping a unit there. Okay, let's bombard here. Kill two units. Fully restore unit. Hell yeah. Um, move here, grab these boxes. And we bombard here. Um, do I run away from him? What does this one do? Gains poison. Oh, he's running away. Oh, uh oh. That's not good. Now my guy can't move. And they're going to be able to restore one health. Okay, this isn't good. Not good. Okay, he can't move at all, so that's pointless. Real fur cup holders, he says. Um, can't move. This guy's just getting stuck. So I think I'm going to stim burst him out of there. Yo. Um, okay. In turn. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, bombard right away. I still can't move. Okay. 
Gains poison, gains poison. Those are the only two boxes left? All right. Yes, move closer. Ouch. Ah, you missed. Deploying a melee, slow melee person. Okay, if I stim here, this is the new Warhammer game. It's not Josh Gore. Um, it's a game called Moonbreaker. It's by the devs of Subnautica. It's like a more, it's what people want um, a Warhammer game to be. It, you can paint your minis, you can collect them. Um, it's uh, pretty cool so far. It's in early access, so it's still a little... Um, what would you call it? I guess shallow. There's only so many units in the game. Oh no, don't. Miss, miss, miss. Yes. Warhammer announced a game like this at Gamescom. Yeah, sort of. Um, I guess the Moonbreaker devs beat them to it a little bit. Um, well, am I going to be able to fit in there? I mean, sure, drag them over. See if I care. Victory. Victory. It actually reminds me quite a bit about, uh, not about, of the, the D and D one demo that they showed off. Um, I think that was probably the closest. It's got the same vibe, the same... I mean, maybe not the same vibe, because this is kind of quirky space opera. Um, you know, this is... It's just really cool. I don't think you're going to be able to, like, paint miniatures and stuff in the Warhammer one, unfortunately. Is this kind of like auto chest? No, I was in full control um, of my units. It's definitely like, it's a turn-based strategy game. Uh, it's a tabletop sim, but then it's got this extra added layer. They wanted to give um, tabletop fans the same kind of experience that they got playing um, with their actual minis. Uh, no, you can. They showed a feature where you can paint your minis. Oh, okay, cool. Um, that's awesome. I think that's really smart. I I think, like, just the right amount of people care about that. This is just a little mini I was working on earlier. I want, I just grabbed a random one. I didn't... Painting your armies is half the fun of tabled... Exactly, yeah. I think that's the, the fun part. Um... So this is the original paint job. Look at this detail that the devs were able to put into this miniature. Um, and this is mine so far. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, it's neat because they've got like dry brush techniques. Um, they've got uh, stippling and then decals you can unlock. People often spend more time painting than playing. I know I did. I do too. I mean, I've, I've spent almost all the time painting. It's like I play, um, can't remember the name of the Warhammer one for the life of me. Oh, I could look that up. I could look that up real fast. Oh. Thank you so much, Josh. I appreciate the follow. Uh, announced at Gamescom, right? I appreciate that. Do they have options for adding the base, like grass, etc.? Oh, like painting the base. I don't think they do. 
That would be interesting feedback to give them. I don't even think you can paint the base. Yeah, you can only paint the model. But you can like build custom palettes. Bashing would be cool, yeah. I feel like on this, it's one of those things that on the surface seems like it would be like a no brainer to put in a game like this. But then if you like get sort of familiar with how programming and coding gets put together, it's like, oh, well, I can understand why they wouldn't have been able to or had the time to or anything like that. Like, that's just a, one of those extreme examples of would be nice. Do they have bases in the battle? Um, That's a very good question. I don't think they do. Yeah, they all kind of have a little just gray base. A lot of them are a lot bigger than their bases, so you barely see the bases at all. I can just hop in a quick little battle right now and we can take a look. I never noticed. Kit, kit bashing would be fun, uh, but it would be, it would be difficult. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have bases, does it? Um, Lifeline and Ion Storm. I'd rather have Cinder Infusion. Oh, like, they do have, like, bases, but I, I, I apologize. I thought the question was, like, do they have, like, designed bases? Well, they have these little stars. That's kind of cool. Mine has a little star on it. Uh, we're just going to move over here. Pass the turn. What do we got? We got two threes and a four on the bridge. They're going to plink me for one. And deploy a one drop. Cool. Uh, I'm just going to go here. Shoot this guy. Oh. And then we're going to deploy. Thanks for checking for me. I am not observant. No, it's all good. Uh, I also did not notice. I've only played um, like three. Oh, I was looking up what the Warhammer game was called. Uh, Dark Tide, Dark Tide. That's not it, right? Dark Tide's the first person shooter. Um, everything that's coming up is Moonbreaker. Chaos Gate? Does that sound familiar? Once you see them in game, you can see how having grass etc on the model base would complicate yeah there's a lot of like bouncing around and shaking and stuff um i'm going to end turn why are you just plinking all over the place nice good move good move you're gonna move into my ranged path Restore three health to a unit. That's cool. It'd be cool for like a gallery mode to have some detail in the model base. Yeah. Or if you could just like buy, like say you couldn't edit them, but you could just unlock special colored bases or special textured bases and apply those to like all of your squad or whatever. I think that would be cool too, just for like show. Uh, who do I hate the most? 58% though? That's not very good. Okay, now he's behind. Um. So I could... Cinder Infusion. 
Some static rock bases for the model should still work. Yeah, unlocks would be cool. Yeah. I think that there's lots of cool stuff they could do with um with the seasons pass. It looks like they've got some really cool stuff on there so far. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see what they add because I feel like I need to move. I need to be able to pull their commander away from my guys when it's time. Rude. And you're going to plink for one health. That little guy's going to shuffle. This little guy's going to butt right there. Okay. Oh. Okay. So he's going to melee here. Take the two damage and then move. We are going to... What do we have on our bridge right now? We have a Maximus and a Snarling. Lots of ranged. Um... Okay, I feel like this guy's kind of scary. I just need to kind of spread out. Because my whole team is like mostly melee or mostly ranged, having kind of a bit of a spread is nice. Uh, let's end turn there. Oh, I probably should have moved my commander actually. Don't do it. Oh man. I swear to God, I had a blink miss. In like the first game I played, and for some reason I've never seen the computer miss. I should have moved my commander. That was dumb. They're gonna heal. Yep. I gotta kill that thing. Uh. Oh, I need to move like here and then grapple chain. Move as far back as possible. We're going to move here, range. And then move here. This guy is going to move here. Range. Oh, I should have. That was dumb. To our free reinforce, we got a toxoid. Which we can deploy. Should probably deploy it in front of our commander. End turn. Oof. Now just one little melee and he's toast. Okay, the healing guy's a real big pain in the butt. Um, okay, so we're going to move him here. Oh, he's melee. God damn it. Trippy Tuba Queenie. Been thinking about picking this up. Only played Empire of Sin when it 
comes to turn-based combat. Have you been enjoying it? It's really cool. I think I'm getting confused thinking this was a Warhammer game. It's not a Warhammer game, no. It's uh, designed to simulate Warhammer. The uh, devs are big fans. Um, but it's not like a Warhammer licensed game. Miss. Dang it. Um, I guess I don't need to move. I think this was the game announced at Gamescom, and I just thought it was Warhammer. Oh, okay. I mean, that makes sense. Um, it ends now. Okay, we got another ranged bro. Um, let's put him in this little pocket right here. And then gain two cinder. We have zero cinder. Let's gain two so that we can gravity disc. It's definitely meant to simulate the Warhammer feel. You get the collections, the, uh, um, the painting, the, the table. The only thing that's different is obviously they've like designed their own rule set, um, designed their own characters, designed their own, uh, kind of interface and they've got their own like little universe. So. It's not a grim, dark situation, but it has been really cool so far. I've really enjoyed the the characters. Um, the models are really detailed. You're gonna plink, and then stim. Sure, vortex beam. Brutal, okay. What, that thing can attack too? That's not fair. And they're deploying an Aria, okay. Uh, well, let's get a free reinforcement. Switch back, nice. Um, okay, first let's kill Kill the medical bot. Wait, what? Why did it take no damage? Okay. Medical bot is dead. Oh, okay. Um, sleeper mine, and then switch back. A make a move again. Pass the turn. They're gonna move Aria and try to kill what? Oh. They're just gonna plink my thing to death. Plink it to death. And they're deploying a Snarling and a Maximus. Maximus could be trouble. My turn, eh? Well, let's reinforce. Oh, we got 
A one drop? That's pretty good. Uh, ranged here. Hmm. Minus 8% chance to hit. Can't move very far. I mean, maybe I just hit this to try to immobilize it. Great success. Um, oh, we can't move. Okay. Move there and then ranged attack commander. Miss. God damn. Attack there. Now let's move here. Ranged there. Miss. No. And then move back behind cover. This thing hasn't moved yet, so we'll move around the corner. I think my captain's fine there. Sleeper mine. Don't think I want to move him, though. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, wait, I can deploy this. Okay. Um, This gives what? Gives melee unit pummel for the turn. I don't have any melee units. But it can attack. It is melee in and of itself. So I think I'm going to set this up back here. End turn. Hope I don't lose. Okay, Arya's moving. Maximus is moving. For some reason, the PC really cares about the mines, like, quite a lot. Melee attack there, that's fine. Moving this guy over. We're plinking. Oh. Oh. Reinforce. You're not going to do anything with your Antonios? Okay. Let's reinforce out the gate. Okay, we got... a. A great drop. Um, guess we can move. Can move him here and attack. Kill him. Get a free reinforce. We got a Furia, which costs what? Five. Oh my god. Um, immobile for a turn. Oh, because I got attacked by the snarling, right? Um, oh, I think we infuse here so that we can. Double strike with the range sky. And then we can move back a bit. This guy can move. 
Oh my god, those are all terrible places. Move here and ranged attack and kill this guy. This guy can range attack here and sleeper mine. They can move up and not actually reach anybody. Okay. Not the best. I think we're in a good spot. Our commander's kind of tucked away. Arya's going to move over and what? Okay, he used his super to kill my bomb. Oh, Arya just myrtleized me. They're going to plink for one health. Okay. They're going to immobilize my snarling with their snarling and then deploy a Florio and pass turn. Okay. Okay, we're going to give it pummel so it attacks twice. Oh, can't see. Okay. Move back over. Switch it up. Just in case I miss. Yes. Victory. Victory. So you gain like 30 XP per match. If you're playing... I'm, maybe you play... Or maybe you get more XP if you're playing like other players. But when you play NPCs, you get like 30 points per match. Whereas I was getting like 100 and something for the cargo run. This is like a cool way to earn a lot more XP and a lot more... Um, of the blanks, your little cash, your kashish. What were we talking? We were talking about unlocks. So so far, the season one or early access season, whatever they're calling it, has some pretty neat ones. They've got banners. They've got decal packages. So these you can stick on your models, which is kind of cool. You've got booster boxes, which opens you three randomized rarity of uh units uh banner shapes which is kind of okay patterns you can unlock new sets of paints which is really cool so it's like you're not just building your collection of units you're building your collections of paints you're building your collections of like banners and profiles and and they've even got like different entrance animations you can unlock uh for when you're dropping units or when they die uh, they've got this cool thing where it's like different uh, paint schemes. So I guess the devs, who are obviously very good at using their own tools, uh, designed a couple different paint schemes for some of the characters. And you can unlock those as well, which is really awesome. I think that's really fun. Uh, some more decal packs if you want to stick stuff on. Again, this gloom... This gloom aside is the, like, extra paint scheme uh, for the season. A bunch of new paints. I think, it's, I think it's really neat. It's not blowing my mind, but I think there's enough here that you, like, want to try to unlock it all. Um, there's enough to entice you. There's even, like, an, a skin. So this changes the exterior model to a different so this is like i guess quasi kit bashing uh, you'll be able to unlock different skins for the same champions so that they all don't look alike obviously they encourage you to like paint yours to look however you want them to look um yeah i think that's it's not a bad not a bad deal 
Um, they incentivize you to like watch the tutorial, play the tutorials, um, to try out painting. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to wind down, but I just wanted to kind of collect my thoughts about Moonbreaker. This is the first time ever getting to try it. I think it is really intriguing. It might be a little too quirky. Maybe it's just the, the leader that I've been playing a lot. Um, this guy, he's got like the quips and he's the, you know, funny pirate space pirate guy the jokey one the nathan fillion of the crew um and so maybe that's why it's felt a little sillier than i'd hoped but i have really high hopes i hope that a lot of people play this game because the more people that do the more incentive that the moonbreaker devs will have to add new factions add new new roster pieces to the existing factions um add new maps i think i played like probably a dozen or so matches today in this first look and i think i only saw three different maps so there's obviously like things in early access that they're going to build upon and tweak um, some of their maps are a lot more fun to play with. Some of them aren't that fun. The one with all the rocks and the ice was like really boring. It was like, this is kind of, it felt samey. Um, yeah, I think it's a really interesting interpretation of what a tabletop miniature role-playing game feels like to play. I think that there's... A ton of potential i think the ui the controls the game systems are super intuitive it feels really nice to play there's a lot of nice little jarring camera shakes uh, all the abilities are really cool the fact that there's actual motion in the models i do think that you know there's there's obviously a cap on a game like this. It's not, it's not a Fortnite broad where, you know, they could obviously make millions of dollars and sell skins and, and, and all that stuff. But you still kind of have to be interested in playing not only something that resembles a tabletop miniatures game, but something that is, you know, a strategy, turn-based strategy. I'm excited for more people to play so that I can check out the online uh, versus modes. I think that's going to be a lot of fun as well. Um, yeah, I think what they've got here in an initial package is, is really strong. I'm going to minimize it for a moment and... Just look at their Steam page because I wanted to check out to see what they said in their early access write up. And then uh, we'll say our good nights and find someone to raid. Should we find someone that's playing Moonbreaker? I think we should. Uh, why early access? Approximately how long? Roughly one to two years. It's difficult to actual accurately predict. How is the full version plan to differ from the early access? Throughout early access, we'll release a number of updates to add new content to the game. We're planning on three different types of updates, season track releases, incremental updates, and hot fixes. Uh, major updates themed and occur only a few times in a calendar year. They include major features, maps, units, limited edition cosmetics and collectibles, and more. Incremental updates happen more often. They may include features, bug fixes, or anything not normally part of a season release. So it sounds like they have a pretty steady idea. Um, it seems like they have a 
a plan, which is really positive. I think a lot of studios kind of rush to early access because they think it's the best way or they're, they look at their bank account or their wallet one day and they kind of rush it to early access because they need to start seeing some money in order to continue developing. Whereas I think this has obviously the Subnautica team behind it. So they're, I'm sure, at least comfortably bankrolled. Subnautica has made a ton of money. Um, and they're obviously passionate about tabletop simulation. I think that there's, there's a really easy way to make this game um, great still but have nothing to do with, you know, simulating that tabletop environment. And it's not what they were going for here. And I think that that makes total sense because there's an obvious passion and love for tabletop. They're probably big Warhammer fans. Um, and, and that makes my, my heart all warm and fuzzy. I think you can feel it when you're playing it, when you're building your little squad, when you're looking at the models, how much time they put into, you know, painting them just right and getting the art just right. Um, yeah, I would highly suggest if you have um, the couple bucks to check out uh, Moonbreaker, get in on the early access, have some fun. Or if you want to wait too, I'm always a big proponent of, you know, if it's something you're really into, maybe wait until the full game is released because I've on multiple occasions in the past had experiences where I ran out of th stuff to do and kind of burnt out on a game before it fully released. And then by the time it did, I was uninterested or, you know, they hadn't changed enough or, you know, I forgave bugs and issues because it was early access. But by the time it fully came out and they released 1.0, it wasn't fixed and it wasn't all short up. So I think I would definitely suggest checking out Moonbreaker. Take a look at it. If it's something you're really interested in, you want to spend some time painting, you want to, um, you know, level up this initial seasons pass. I think that that, that would be a really cool thing to support this team, support unknown worlds, um, you know, share the love on the tabletop uh, simulation side of things. I know the turn-based world is going to be loving this game. I know that there's going to be a ton of fans of this. I just hope that they see it. I hope that they find this game. Um, and I hope that they do well in early access. I wish them the best of luck in developing. I think this is a game that I'm going to play more. Uh, initially, we just were given access uh, to the game and we were going to take a first look at it, but it's something that I might play on the side and, and, you know, if I'm not feeling up for magic 